Before we get started, I know I said this will be the last time I speak about the new DayZ update 1.14. However, this video is just going to be a quick recap on everything that is releasing for 1.14. So let's start with the major additions with 1.14. First, we're gonna got the two static toxic zones, which are gonna be at Vifi and Pavlovo, as well as the odd ones that spawn around the map at any random place without one. How would they be deployed? So you'll only find out where they are when you hear the artillery sounds and the red flare. The red flare will signify that that area is going to be hit, no matter if it's day or night. And all of a sudden, an explosion above, which I'm going to show on screen now, and then boom. The whole area is toxic for at least 15 minutes. And even that, the only way you can survive these toxic zones are with an MBC suit, full, including gloves, boots, pants and shirt, as well as a gas mask with a filter. If you do not have the required equipment, you will gain a cup. You cannot get rid of this cut unless you leave the toxic zone or find the antidote at Krasnostav airfield or to try and remove the cut. After 1 minute 30 seconds of you being in the toxic zone, you are guaranteed to die. On top of this, um, swaying away from the gas mask and all that, we have got the introduction of the Lamas rifle based on the famous F2, which is a French Foreign Legion standard issued rifle as well as other little bits and pieces to make the daisy experience a lot more pleasant. We've got different um, traps, snares, we've got fishing items so you can get um, sardines and chiplets, as well as different bits such as chicken carcasses etc to go ahead and maybe bait your enemies in to get free kills or even just to personalise different areas of the map and make it more immersive. And finally, to finish off the update, we have different masking effects over your NVG scope and also your gas mask and different balaclavas you wear. You'll have like a black ring or NVG scopes will be a lot more um, funneled as well as your NVG scope for NATO forces for your M1A1 or any other American rifles or NATO rifles just to make sure that both the AK and the NATO weapons have a fair shot. Anyway that's it. 1.14 plans to release on the 29th of September for all consoles and the PC. Anyway, thank you very much.